Good evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome to... We're back again on the Tuesdays, aren't we? Um, and we're back until March, because that's when I've next got um, my lectures. Um, so uh, it's nice to be back. So I thought I'd give us a nice eerie one. Now, actually, this isn't as hard as it looks, to be honest. On Honestly, I will be on um, Discord shortly. I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything. All me ducks in a row. And, uh, and then we can start. Good evening, Christine. How are you doing? Hello, Heather. I've got a bit of square eyes. I've been inputting loads of stuff on the computer today, so I'm I'm all over the place. So much so that I apologise to my Monday morning group for for yesterday's lesson that I I, I gave the wrong lesson. Um, I gave. Oh, that'd be lovely to have you with us on Friday. I, I said, oh, I'm really sorry. Um, I, I taught next week's lesson this week, and then it turned out I was in the wrong week, and I taught the right lesson on the right week. So I looked. I should have just left it, really. Might have to sharpen a couple of pencils, they've gone a bit blunt. Me 9B, I think. That's um, although there's not much of it left, look, but I will. Let me give it a sort out. Sorted out. That's just my shadow lunging across while I sharpen the pencil. Oh, I've got to do another one. I know I should have done this before my class. Sorry. I'm waiting for you all to join. Um, so we can happily stroll along an eerie woodland. But really, it's not... It's not that tricky. Today. 
You might find a smudgy stick useful if you have one. Right, where's... Oh, here it is. Let me jump on to see who is on Discord this evening. Hello Sandra, hello Nick. Nice to have you with us, Nick. Right. Some people said they're doing it. I'll normally wait until ten past, I think, to make sure who's here is here and whatnot. Oh, no problem. No, we've got people here who are definitely here, but I, don't, I want people here who should be here that aren't, or may not be. But I don't know, I can't remember. I can't remember. Right. Just in case they are. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll just sharpen the wrong pen, that's fine. I do like playing with my sharpener. This is true. No, I'll I can use the shorter one. I'm I'm a big boy. No, no, Nicholas. Right. It's nice. It's nice to be back on a Tuesday. Um. So as I say, we're we're back on Tuesdays for the next few months until March. Anyway, until I'm off. I think it might be mid-March and April or something like that that I'm um, off lecturing again. And, um, yeah, so we've got three projects this year. So we've got an eerie autumn forest. It's going to be quite cool to do this in um, in acrylics next week. Um, a winter cabin and fir trees. And then a little robin. So nice, three nice projects to finish off. It, it's quite scary, you know, when I'm looking at this... Um, our catalogue of classes and then I'm looking and it, it made me stop in my tracks for the Monday morning ones because I've got one two three four five five more Monday lessons Monday morning lessons um, before we normally break for two weeks for Christmas um, and and the the reason why I normally break earlier on a Monday morning is because we do a we have a Christmas lunch but that won't be happening this year um, so it's a shame but I really like this um, this scene, and what I like about it, obviously, when it's a painting, it's the blue, that eerie blue that stands out, isn't it? But as a drawing, what I like is the way the light is reflecting on the path as well. You know, so you've got that nice glow. I've got a um, lovely bunch of coconuts now i've got a, i've got a printout of this but i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly lighten the image because my printout has actually um come out so dark i can't see any of the trees so let me just quickly print this off we don't have rosemary on a monday night do we tuesday night Yeah, yes, yeah. She does Mondays, Mondays, Monday evenings, Wednesdays, and um, some Tuesdays. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. Right, I'm just going to quickly go to the printer. Oh, that's slightly, <laughs> slightly better. So what we'll do is we'll, 
as always, plan where things come to. Now, it's about four fingers, the, the top of that sort of horizon line where the misty trees are. So I'm just going to draw, not all the way across, but about four fingers up, a bit of a horizon line. Now, if I do a bit of finger measuring, I think we'll get the... What I find, and I don't know, um, and I find I get this asked a lot, is when we when we're drawing things like a pathway through a, a wood or whatever people struggle with the path because they it it always makes them feel like we're going uphill um do you know what i mean if you draw if you if you just freestyle a path sometimes it can't it doesn't look flat i mean this is a slight incline but how to get a lower path is to lower your horizon line the lower the horizon the better the chance of it looking flatter so the top of the path is actually four fingers and a thumb that's where it starts believe it or not because it's sort of that which i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit lower because that that comes around that way and goes up so i've just drawn that little line up because that is and then it, then it goes to a thumb on the bottom so if i draw that line and then sweep it round very lightly That's a thumb width on the bottom right, which is just missing off the page. There we go. And the path itself is a thumb width at the top. And it's four fingers wide at the bottom. And it sort of comes around like that because we've got we want the idea that the path I feel goes around now if I can get that it's not got a tyre track is it? it kind of has got a tyre track but it must be a narrow path because the, the shiny bit's almost on the edge of each, of, of the side of each path, isn't it? Normally you'd think it'd be in the middle, but it's on the sides. So this is, yeah. So you couldn't, it's a, it's a single track, a single track road, I think. Um, so with this background, I want to create it so it feels like where where is it gone? I've done two um this week so far and weekend. I've done two two pet portrait commissions. Always nerve wracking. One I had to start again because I really wasn't happy with it how it turned out. Totally start again. way a little bit more I think I do because this background is going to be all misty and murky and that goes up because this you see the right hand bit is slightly lower down than the left hand I'm going to call it a peninsula, but you know what I mean. If this was a river, that would be a peninsula, wouldn't it? That's coming up here. Um, so we've got a background. This section, I'll just draw on my paper, is the mid-ground. And this one's slightly forward. 
and then we've got the big ivy covered tree about here which is the foreground so the more layers you've got in a picture even though it's misty um, the better it will actually look because you need to have a basic construction um, I'm going to ignore the background trees the the only two or three trees I want to concern myself with at the moment is about halfway here there's a really tall one that goes right the way up like that with a branch there so that that one is the really obvious one on the right hand side Oh really? That's annoying. Starting to feel quite chilly today, I think. Very autumnal. I had to remind myself, I, I, I was feeling chilly, and then I thought, you know what, it's November, it's going to be chilly, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah, it's about two fingers from the edge. So that's, this one is for the... Um, the, the tree looks like it's been pollarded, don't you think? Because it's got like a big bulby bit on and then spindly branches coming off it. I like it. So I'm going to keep it. So you've still got loads of open university stuff to do next. Hmm. Not f are you not feeling it at the minute? No, I know. I think everyone's feeling a bit lost at sea. You know me, it's all about the planning with this. makes a difference doesn't it if your screen's at a slightly different tilt it it turns everything a funny tone We've got the Art Fest launching on um, Saturday for two weeks. Virtual Art Fest. So I think there's there's eight artists. We try and obviously the real Art Fest sometimes there's like thirty or forty local artists doing it, but um, there are a lot of other art fairs going on, um, and it, it's unfair to pressurise other artists to try and split themselves between three or four other fairs. Um, so there's eight of us trying it this year to see uh, to see if it works, and if it works, we might do it every November or something. So that's good. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, we'll still do the real one as long as the Banbury District Show goes. However, it is really hard to orchestrate a real life art fair. Um, you know, the marquee costs about a thousand pounds, which the town council normally help me with, but then I have to because um, I organise it I have to uh, send all the information out to all of the artists um, chase them for their forms chase them for their payments chase them for their insurance remind them about the event remind them about their forms remind them about their insurance um, and then 
um, deal with inquiries and chase the artists again for their forms and their payments um, and and their insurance and um, ex explain to them that they do need insurance chase them again for their forms and insurance um, and payment and organize the marquee organize all of the social media um, and organize the hiring of their display screens the chairs and the tables and then do a layout plan of the whole um, marquee and then give up a whole Saturday afternoon and evening laying out all of uh, driving to Hook Norton no where am I going chipping chipping Norton to get the screens um, the display screens and then driving back and setting up all the display screens and setting up all of the tables and chairs um, and the display bays for all of the artists and then has to get it get be there at seven in the morning for the uh, for the fair to set up so I can be there and then when the fair finishes I have to take down all of the screens all the tables and the chairs load all the screens take them all home to to Chipping Norton and then come back and load all of the art supplies up from our shop which is usually about seven boxes um, plus four stands and then put all the stock back on our shelves as well so it's a huge huge time consuming outlay um so i i i've done it for three years in the real life and as wonderful it is and as magical as it is i'm just adding a bit more pressure with the same pencil it is it is getting a little bit hard to try and juggle as well as running a shop and classes and all of that kind of thing so whether we'll have real life versions I don't know it all depends on how I feel of course the town council might want it to run ahead anyway so they'll do it themselves but um, from my point of view I really don't know what's happening next year I'm having to give the art society a miss next year because I've not been able to book any speakers because um, every time I think oh it's going to go ahead um, it gets cancelled so um, I, I can't plan so it everything's so up in the air I'm having to write I'm almost having to write next year off with with extracurricular plans so I can still concentrate on this place right so that's there and then that's there there's a hint of tree there isn't there um, and that bank there's sort of two banks if you notice you've got this bank if you think of it like a river and that's what we've got to be careful with that um, it doesn't look like a river we need it to look like a path but because it's damp it's a reflective path so it, it, it's so easy to make it look like a river so we just need to be careful so I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm giving myself the um, the layers so I, I know how I can um, best make it work in terms of tone because really what will need to happen is sort of like the background where my pencil now is has got to be really pale and misty then the one to the left of it slightly darker then the one to the right of it slightly darker the one to the left of that slightly darker and then the foreground much darker and so it's all to do with um, layering the depth so in in watercolor um, it would be a really interesting one to do um, as well it, it's almost I, I one time I'd love to do um, and I don't I don't think it'll ever be able to be done because it's too time consuming a lesson the same lesson over I could do it in a master class I could do a master class from in the July to December lot because I haven't planned those yet where we do one painting in three different mediums or four so we do the same picture in pencil the same picture in acrylics the same picture in watercolor and the same picture in pastels or something maybe that would be interesting wouldn't it to see to see how you have to create the image in different ways what you put down first and all of that so hmm, that might be something to think about right so we've got our layers 
so I haven't drawn anything in the background because I might use um, my smudgy stick for that afterwards now if we were going to do this in watercolors it would all be a, a sort of bluey brown wash to start with and then gradually get um, darker I want it to feel a little bit lighter being a drawing and and this is the the snag with a drawing is that you can find the most amazing photographs but if they're all really dark then the problem is you're starting off dark and you can only get so dark with a pencil it's all you know in watercolors you can get around it a little bit because the color helps but when you but when you're only using gray it's really hard it's really hard to get depth so with this I'm going to actually leave the background for a while so when I use the smudgy stick on everything else I've got a dirty stick so I can um, do more with the background so this tree here which is the left hand side one I'm going to um, not put much pressure down so this is an HB or a 2b i suppose and the whole of this is going to be in one go we are going to smudge it at some point so there's two trees there isn't there from what i can see or is that no no it isn't it's one tree because the next tree is in, in the in the next layer and this is ivy strewn now i'm going to leave the ivy for a bit Quite a long trunk, isn't it? That I'm doing it about a pencil width, maybe a little bit wider. And the ivy covers up a lot of issues. I think a lot of these trees have been pollarded, you know. Yeah, the tops get cut off. Um, so you get like big lumpy bits and then you get finer finer branches on sometimes the council does it to um at trees that line the highway or pavements but then occasionally they don't grow back because they've done it too severely and then you just get like a tree with sticks which yeah So we do sort of capital Y shapes or V shapes within. And again, I don't want to do too much. You've had a few problems with that, haven't you, lately? With your screen. Is that your standby changed or something? Because sometimes I find that when there's an update, it knocks my some of my settings off. I don't know. I, I'm I'm reluctant to do too many branches in this because I've got to smudge them. But I, I'm trying to get. See, some of them are now overhanging this one as well. So my, my pencil is sort of on an angle to allow thick and thin lines at every stage because there are lots. Now, if you want to make it feel a bit spookier, make your branches more angular rather than um, droopy and curved so sharper lines make the angles better for a spookier eerie forest rather than nice floppy curves of trees so there's a nice tip for you even though we're the other side of halloween
But again, we don't want to go too dark. If we go too dark with this one, each layer is going to struggle to get even darker and darker, you see. So, um, do consider that as your drawing. And you can't actually go over the top with branches, in my experience. Um, the more you add, the, the more interesting and realistic the tree looks. I think the mistake a lot of people make is they don't put enough branches on a tree. Um, and it, it, it doesn't look awful, but it just looks unfinished. got another tree there but I'll, I will add a few branches just through that that's a nice tree it's a nice long tree oh you know what I am going to put the ivy on it so the way I'm going to do that is I've got my pencil slightly on its edge so I'm using the length of the lead graphite I suppose and I'm doing a sort of jerky wobble see I bet that you because you've not been to classes for a week or so Nick I bet you've missed missed my um, artistic um, terminology jerky wobble what's the art teacher at school does uh, do they have really um, good terminology speak Oh, that's a shame. Jerky wobble. It says it. It says it all. You see, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it, it's all very well saying sfumato or congianti or chiaroscuro or scrofito and all of that kind of thing, but jerky wobble makes so much more sense. <laughs> yeah. Like, like much art goes on. I remember when I did GCSE art, nearly all, there were loads of lads that took it who just took it because they couldn't do anything else and they just wanted to doss around because it wasn't seen as a, it wasn't seen as a proper subject. Yeah, which is sad really. Oh, I'm really liking this tree. No, I, with this pet portrait I had to do over the weekend, I sent it to the client and they were fairly pleased with it, but I wasn't. And I was looking at it over and over and over again and I hate it. The, the eyes were wrong and the nose, the actual nostril nose bit, didn't look like the dog that it should have done. And, and it, it looked like that type of breed, but it looked older and just didn't look right so I, uh, unusually for me I scrapped it and I started absolutely from scratch again and it was the best move it still took a long while and and it was a it's a, a chocolate Labrador which in itself is is not a, a tricky dog to do but there was just something about that specific dog that I struggled with and then I did another dog no idea what sort of breed that was and that just flew off the paintbrush so it's interesting. There we go. I like that. I don't know if camera two will pick because it's camera two is on a slight slope. Does that show that? Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Does that show the, the work a bit more? Oh, I've got some interest. I had a, I had a pot noodle for my evening meal. And um, I, I watched a, an interesting video that somebody did on um, a king size pot noodle versus a normal pot noodle. And did you know there is less, there are fewer noodles in a king pot than there are in a normal one. And you still only get one sachet. So actually all you're paying for is more plastic. In terms of a meal, you do get more powder, you know, more of the the powdery stuff with the 
whatever is in it, the, the stock, I suppose. So basically, don't don't buy a king pop because they're not they're not as good. They're not as good value for money. So there you go. There's a bit of extra learning for you. <laughs> It blew, blew my mind that did because I always assumed that a king pot would be bigger and more of it, but uh, nope. The things you learn in these lessons. I do like holding my pencil slightly, eh? Absolutely. My ex wife used to say that to me all the time. Never assume, Barry. <laughs> no that's 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 really true about uh, of assumption it's uh, i'm i'm terrible for assuming uh, i used to be but i'm not anymore i i check everything i get to the point of sort of being paranoid about it so i'm just using my smudgy stick on this to soften Sometimes it's best to assume things are wrong and then you know that it will hopefully be a bit better. So I've smudged a little bit on the, um, not necessarily on, I'm not going to smudge the, the finer branches. As you can see, my smudgy stick is extremely dark. People think this is actually a pencil, um, but it's not a pencil. Um, I'm sort of ashamed because obviously this should be white paper um, and it's, creamy yellow ochre um but it isn't necessarily because my hands are dirty there you go look i mean it will go cream anyway but um it's because it's in it's just chucked in my pencil box with all the other stuff that's true i'm not I haven't even had any donuts or anything today. I know. Jackie is coming in though to help out with online orders and and other stuff. So it's uh, I I am I am getting looked after on the biscuit front now. I don't on a Monday. Um, that's why I do everything wrong on a Monday, because the biscuits aren't forthcoming. No, she would have told me. So while I've got the smudgy stick with a bit of filth on it, I'm uh, I'm going to do a little bit of swirling in the background. No, I'm not. The pencil, obviously. I'm, I'm not going to be doing any swirling. Might warm me up there a little bit. And then do a few trees. Now, I've said this to some of you before. What I find not necessarily frustrating, but it's something that I, I do myself, which annoys me. When I do trees in the distance, I always do them thin and spindly. But actually, what if you've got an, an old ancient oak tree further down that's really big and bold and, you know, old and angled? 
it's going to be a big tree so i do try now when i do background trees i mean we are sort of following the photograph that's that's the idea of this um believe it or not this is an art lesson i sometimes i sometimes have to remind myself of this um yeah i get paid for this nick <laughs> mad, yeah not much but i do get paid uh mainly in biscuits um and uh i always make sure i do a few chunkier trees in this as well as some spindly ones i don't know do you have any of you found that you do that or not not really have you because i'm that conscious of making them look far away that i do them as really thin wibbly lines but then i think you know what it's like a forest that's only been planted last week rather than a an ancient forest because the trees have got no substance to them um so yeah yeah rosemary's still got a, a clean smudgy stick it's amazing what what i find helps if you've got a, a paper stump a tortillon which is the real name if we if we i, I ought to do something so anybody that joins in uh, later on no thinks i actually know what i'm talking about um if you find it won't hold the graphite shave off with a, a craft knife the surface paper and it roughs it or, or rub it with a bit of sandpaper and it does make a, a big difference in um in how it holds the graphite so it's run out i know can you see how shiny mine is from pressing down all the time i may have to relent and um hack at it again with another knife um not yet though and certainly not today so i'm doing some finer branches that aren't really attached to anything that are going across to create um bits of tree i suppose I know I waffle. I am sorry for what. I'm not sorry. I, it's what I do. I can't help it. Yeah, th this is it. Yeah, you can. You can rub your graphite stick on it, and it'll give you a good, um, a good bit of dirty grey on there. Right. I'm not going to add any more to that. Um, I'm I'm in the danger. Oh, there's seven of you, hello. Um, I'm in the realms of dangerous territory of um, making it too dark. I need to widen the ivy on the base of this tree because I really don't think it would um, hold up. That's better. The bonus of working this way is that if we do when when we work on the next layer which is going to be the right hand side if we struggle to get depth in terms of tone all we need to do is dab off with our putty erasers anything else and it will just um soften it even more but as you know it's hard to judge until you get to the um, the really darks because at the moment, the even though these are the lightest colours, at the moment they're the darkest colours on this sheet. Um, and it won't be until the darks go on that we can appreciate how light that looks. And I think sometimes that happens in the watercolour classes, isn't it? We do a, a misty background and it looks so dark while the paper's white everywhere else. And then as soon as we start adding the darks, the misty background starts to feel a bit mistier. And um, it, it comes into play a little bit more.
<laughs> right, so let me move that out of the way. It's going to be this bit that I'm going to do next. Same pencil, little bit more pressure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the Caran Dash HB or the um, or a two B in in normal money. I'll flick up a little bit with that. I do enjoy drawing and I have to say I enjoy drawing far more since I've been teaching regular drawing classes. It's funny isn't it? Because um, I don't often get chance to sketch in real life because I'm either on the shop or I'm teaching classes or I'm doing commissions. So it's really lovely to be able to just enjoy drawing again for drawing sake rather than having to shove paint on it. Monday, I've got a Monday mornings of class was acrylics um, this week. It actually really was, even though I got confused. Um, and we painted the whole paper or the canvas in cadmium yellow. And then we painted the colours over the top. Um, really interesting. It worked quite well. It was to create a, the, a harvest scene with hay bales. Oh yeah, that was the yeah that's the a sepia one, wasn't it? Yeah, this I I've done quite a few hay bales on uh, over this last couple of months. So again, I'm just pressing down a little bit harder. This is a almost I I, I want to call it a hawthorn. It probably isn't. I'm not really up on the trees, but there's a, a, a mass of thin, spindly branches. I don't want them to stick out too much. Either. So I'm going to. What's that? I know a, a few people are saving their dabbler boxes until weekends or um, when they know they're going to be stuck at home a bit more, possibly over Christmas. I mean, I know most of us are stuck. I'm, I'm fortunate in that because I'm allowed to be open for click and collect and online orders and I've got, I can't really teach the classes from home anymore because I've just got too much gear all set up here. Um, so I'm basically here the same sort of hours as I normally am. I do when I'm not teaching um, and all orders are done, I do go home. So like Saturday, I was at home by, well, I don't know, one o'clock um, at least. And that's when I carried on with the Sean Connery portrait that I started during the demo. I enjoyed doing that. Did you catch any of the demo, Nick? Good. You don't want to catch anything. You need to. Come the Christmas holidays, Nick, you can just do a, a massive binge fest of all of the classes. And you could just. Oh, it'll be worth it though, won't it? When it's when you've uh, when you've finished your OU course. Yeah, I know. But I I certainly wouldn't do a maths. I'm rubbish. Aren't you an accountant? <laughs> I 
I, I can't do anything. I can I can swivel a pencil around on a bit of paper and that. You see, I'm rubbish with a calculator. I, I really struggle. I think I have a bit of discalcula. Hmm. Oh, you see, we got my dad a, a ceramic plate called a... Um, they were all the rage in the 80s, called a round to it. I don't, have you ever seen one? So it's just, a, it's just a small, I don't know, saucer-sized plate. And it's called a, then round, and then T-U-I-T. Um, and it says, um, at last you finally got a round to it. Um because he'd always say, yes, I'll get around to it. Yes, I'll get around to it. So we actually got him around to it. And uh, I've actually got that at home. bringing these 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 trees that I'm doing I'm having to bring the branches out behind because obviously we've got other things going on this this bank here in between the trees so I might end up having to add um, some trees that I can't really see I've just I just smudged it yeah to um make it a little bit softer but I've I ended up going over a little bit of the of the left hand side earlier on and it's too dark now so I'm just going to dab it with a that's better because I it's harder believe it or not it's harder for me to see the tone in real life but I can see it so much easier on the screen because I've got the lamp reflected off the light if I just move my head slightly so it is um, it's easier to see it on the uh, on the screen yeah they're really short jagged overcrowded branches so you can't really tell um what they're attached to so in some respects it's 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 not as tricky in that the structure is the same um i'm just going to smudge that bit of land there because maybe i'll smudge the whole bit behind it as well to give me that eerie feel and i'm what I want to try and create, I need to be I need to be random. Um, so I'm trying not to think about it. And I know people say, to, oh, you do this so fast. But it's because I try to switch my brain off from trying to make a specific tree or a specific this or a specific that. So I can block areas in. And it sort of... It sort of helps a little bit, I find. I've done more in between where the two trees are going to go. Um, and it's because I've just looked at, if I quickly flick to the um, reference image, there are two thinner trees in the next layer. So I hadn't allowed for the fact that I need to see between them, if you know what I mean. But obviously you can add a couple of layers of trees 
while we're still using this pencil because we're going to switch up in a sec. Which trees? What, then mine or then the photograph? It is, it, it looks a lot more dense than it is. Let, I'll, I'll go back to the reference just so you can see. It's, they're a lot finer, aren't they? Especially on the left, hand, the right hand side. There's a lot of finer branchy things. But it's all about layers. We all know about layers. I've noticed there's an extra droopy branch in front of the hawthorny thing that I'm just adding with the same pencil. Again, it's amazing what you can do. Oh, it's nearly a cup of tea time. Where's the time go? Because hopefully what will happen is that all the branches will start to meld into each other as we get to the top so that there's no need for too much differentiation with everything. That'll do because then we've got a big old dark tree there and there, right. Down to all the swimming. No, I it. I think you can. You won't go wrong by adding more branches than you think. I I I feel that the the more branches you add, the better it's going to look in terms of layers. Because we we really want this path to feel like it's going back. Um, but obviously we've got an hour, um, now, um to work on the mid-ground, foreground and uh, pathway. In fact, while my smudgy stick is to hand, I am actually going to smudgy stick the path left to right. So that'll sort of be our lightest tone and then I can rub out areas. Let me just dab. That's fine. They're falling off the tree if they're not attached to it. So you've just got a bit of a breeze. Right, I'm going to go pop the kettle on now and we'll be uh, we'll reconvene shortly. So then we're going to switch up a grade to like a 3B or 4B, something like that, for the next bit. Then like 5B, then a 9B or something. Back in a minute.
A good day today. Lesson one. If you want a nice hot cup of coffee, you first need to actually make sure the kettle is turned on. Yeah. Lesson two. When you get too hot and you want it to cool down, you turn the heater off, not the landline. I, I just heard the heater ticking and I thought, well, I turned that off an hour and a half ago. No, I'd unplugged the landline instead. <sighs> no, exactly. I, I'd be thinking, oh, I've not, um, you know, come Christmas, I'd be thinking, oh, I've not had a single phone call. That's really unusual that nobody is, um, nobody wants to talk to the shop or do anything. Why, what's going on? Um, it just it just goes into how my brain works today or doesn't work rather right so we've used our hb or 2b so i want to go in with a, a sort of 3b or 4b so we're going up slightly darker so um that's that one yeah so if you go up a grade or two what that will allow you to do is sort of um go slightly darker so don't forget the softnesses of your pencil is to do with um the clay to graphite ratio so the the higher the number the more raw graphite is in there and the less clay is in there so we've got another tree here I'm not going to do much with this tree if I'm honest I want it mainly for um, the layering and the little hen when, when, when. I'm guessing Nick's not back yet. So you're working from home again now? Uh. I think that'll do. Let's. It's weird because of no um. It's hard to see textures in this. I think I'm going to just smudge behind that tree, which is hard because there's nothing really going on there, but I don't want white paper. Um, there's a big tree, but this, what I'm doing in this bit, there is going to be a big tree right on the very edge, yes, um, that we haven't sketched in yet, but, um, I'm anticipating a gap between the, 
the tree that I've left a gap with and then the tree that's on the very edge. Um, so if I've got a bit of grey scratchy line behind it, it'll look like there's like I'm really skillful. And I planned it all. I know. Sometimes I just turn up. No, I, I don't. I don't. Oh, really? I can. It might just be the camera. Let me turn the light off for a second. Yeah, you see, the camera's set to, to stay the same brightness no matter how light or dark the room is. So it will change depending on uh, what light or dark is there. is just frustrating I think right so the opposite side of that is where these big trees are gonna well they're not big they're, they're tall but they're they're what we drew in first so again I've got my pencil on a slight angle no I'm, I'm trying not to draw too many in um, because it just gets a bit confusing. I know we've got. I know we need a lot because it is a voice. I know. I know. But I. Yeah, this is the tree that we sketched in earlier. One of the two, because there's two on this side. Hello. Yep. Yeah. I've done so I've done a tree on the left hand side and then I'm just working you can catch that up no problem yep yep well how long how long can I put something in before somebody actually notices? You can be surprised how long. Mm. Oh no, somebody. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Oh nice, these are nice. The ivy trees are really nice. Because there's ivy on this other lumpy tree on the left hand side, isn't there? So that's going to add... To the texture and stuff like that. I, 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 apologies if you already have, but I'm seeing so many people with their Christmas decorations up. I, I normally, I normally wait at the shop. I normally start um, next week, and at home, I start the first week of December. That's been on for like a month, hasn't it? The Christmas channels. My um my niece's fiance, she put she's already got her tree and decks up. But what what else happens there is that she'll get fed up of them by Boxing Day and take them down. Whereas, I, I Yeah, I put them up round about be just before my birthday. I like them up for my birthday, which is the 13th of December. I do like Nutella and Honey Jack Daniels. Um, and um, <laughs> no, no hints. I'm just talking. I'm just talking generally. Um, and then I, I keep them up until New Year's Day. 
and then probably on New Year's Day I start because I have um real trees and re uh, not trees it sounds like I live in a mansion I have a real tree I have a real garland over the fireplace and a wreath um and usually paper chains and stuff it's very vintage in my house um very traditional I should say um yeah I'm trying to put in all of the the right hand side trees in now um and obviously when you're shading this you want to shade in the direction or the gradient of the tree of, of the hill as well as the tree you missed all the fun nick um i didn't turn the kettle on and i was waiting for my coffee and then I came back in and I realised the warm the room was rather warm and the heater was still ticking, but I turned it off an hour and a half ago. Turns out I'd unplugged I'd turned the phone off, not the not the heater. <laughs> no, there really isn't. And I'm perfectly I am a perfectly capable person normally, but I don't today it's just <laughs> No, it's nice there. It is. I'm soft. <laughs> it's because no, because I heard because it's an oil radiator. You know when it when it warms up, it ticks it a little bit. And I heard it tick twice, and I thought, oh, it's just cooling down. And it wasn't until I got up to turn the kettle back on again, or just actually on. Um, that I, I felt the heater and then I thought, oh no, never mind, but the phone's working and the heater's off, but I'll check before I leave. I get paranoid about it as it is, so, um, oh dear me. Now, I get paranoid about my oven, even though I haven't used my oven that day, maybe. And um, I used to be really bad with it. Gosh, you're going to think I'm a right basket case. Um, and uh, what I get worried about now is me, my fridge door, because it doesn't always shut. And I just have to really think now, is my fridge door shut or will it have spilled open and everything be warm? By Although my house is freezing cold, so it, nothing really gets warm. I kind of like this layering so far. This is good. This is good layering. But I'm let me. I'm just going to quickly switch to the reference. Okay. I think I want a few more branches and things on this, or maybe a a spindly. Does it, I want it to feel a little bit creepy. A spindly weird branch. It's wobbly, like serpentine. Because, you know, what I will find interesting is when I paint this next week, there'll be certain things that I'll definitely want to put in in the painting that I may not be putting in today. You know, because because we've got the colour to help us in, in paint form, it does make a huge difference on what, what, what you add and what you don't add. Well, I hope you on Facebook are, are enjoying it today and, uh, and I'm entertaining you with my antics of not knowing what's turned on and what's turned off and what's working and what isn't working. My brain is not. Well, you know, I, I, I am ext I'm an extremely organised person in the sense that I like to have plans for everything. But sometimes I wonder how I actually get there. Because I have days where things just, everything goes wrong. Everything. And it's all, it, it seems, 
totally out of my control. I'm sure it isn't, but... Uh, No, and I was saying that to Jackie today with, with all what's going on. I'm doing some sort of leafy texture just with my brush, uh, my pencil. Um, yeah, just a pencil, just a pencil. It's not a brush, honest. It's made of wood and it's got graphite in it. Just to make it look like there are sort of leaf shapes on the... Uh, on there, but I, I, I'm, I, I feel... Because you, you all know I'm a very anxious overthinky person but th I, I know I hide it so well um, <laughs> I am um, I I actually with this version of this lockdown I'm not worried because I, I actually can't control anything I'm just doing the things that I know I can control which is sh really different for me um, a different way of thinking and it's and it's so much nicer you know and it's like somebody will say, oh, so-and-so is not doing it. And it's not my problem. I'm not, I don't care what somebody else is doing or not doing. I'm doing what I know I need to do. And that's all I'm worried about. And I'm quite surprised with that. I feel quite grown up at 40. How, how old am I? 42? No. 41. Mm. And that's exactly what I said to Jackie. I'm learning that I cannot control the environment, I can only control my response to the environment. And um, it's amazing. Right, I will be darkening the immediate foreground on the right hand side later. But while I've got the 3B I've got, but it can be, a look how short that pencil is. It's, it's, it's the same size as my little finger, a bit shorter. Um, I'm going to do a little bit on the pathway. Now I'm going to go a little bit bouncy and have it a bit flat. And do short little horizontal strokes. And I'm not going to smudge this because I want to keep the texture of it. because <laughs> the, fur the, the further back I go I don't want it to be as dark so I'll probably darken the foreground up in the pathway a little and I may erase You know, I can't get any of the, Der you know, those amazing Derwent pencil sharpeners that we sold out of. I can't get any in at the moment. Derwent are out of stock. I, I know they need to make more. It's, um, it is essential. Pencil sharpeners are essential. Because it is the best sharpener I've used. I was sharpening some pastel pencils the other day, and it it it, um, it doesn't. You run the risk of them breaking inside. But what I found is, if you if it does break inside, I just then sharpen a, a hard pencil, and it pushes the broken bit of pastel in, and um, and un unjams it a little bit. I mean, it's not really for pastel pencils, but I found it it does. It does work a little. When I left work last night to go home, I only saw two cars on the whole 15 minute journey in back. In the morning it's normal traffic, but in the evening I think more people are stopping at home because there's nowhere, nowhere to go, is there? I don't do that because I really need to come in every day. Sometimes it's all 
it, it's often easier just to c go with the flow you know I, I really don't feel my freedom through inhibition you know what I mean I don't feel I'm being controlled I don't feel anything I just I just want it to go away and it and the more we keep faffing about the less it's going to go away and the, the longer we're going to be in this mess I mean, it's in nobody's interest to lock society away um, and and hold the economy and all of that kind of stuff. Right, I'm going to put my 3B down now. Oh, this is looking like a picture. Yeah, this is an art lesson where we do a picture. How is it going, Facebook? You, mu you must all be concentrating, Heather and Christine and whoever else is joining. I can't tell. I know there's six of you and I know four of you um actually i know we've got christine and i know we've got heather i know we've got nick and i know we've got um sandra but that's only four who are the other two oh. right i was just going to say let that dry we're not going to let it dry but i am going to i'm going to let i'm going to let you I don't want to rush you too much and then I'm going to switch up to not well I, I do like rushing you all but I'm going to stop for a minute I'm going to switch up to a 5B or 6B thank you Don't confuse me, Sandra. It really doesn't take much at all today. Do I want to go 5B or 7? No, I think I I always try to reserve the 9Bs right till the end because if I can get away without it, I try. Um, so this jagged jag dagger of a pencil because I, I, I pulled out the thing too far and I've got a lovely spear. Um, but that, that'll be all right because I, I can do a nice... A nice dark tree. Yeah, nine B a nine B is a good one. No, I'm 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 nowhere near. I'm I think I'm still a five or a six B at the mo. Go for it. Uh, sand, sandpaper. Yeah, this is the big tree with the bumpy bit. The bumpy bit. And this will intersect some of the other... trees behind it obviously uh, but we have got some ivy growing up this and the main trunk so that will be dealt with in exactly the same way as um, the tree behind it you go go um, if 
because uh, yours is a square pencil then isn't it you just said so if you switch up switch up one but don't press down as hard because there is only sort of like finishing there's one more edge of a tree on the left hand side that we need to think about which I'm going to go a bit darker with A lot of people out and about. I can hear loads of voices in Parsons Street. Maybe they're on their daily exercise, eh? What does, sorry? Yeah, oh, that's good. What's good about all this sort of ivy is it really does help um, hide branches and lines and things so you can squiggle and scribble up a tree and it'll look fine. These wiggly jerks again. Jerky wibbles. What did I call them before? A wobbly jerk. No. Now having to have a think on, do I have to go, do I do this tree a little bit darker? Is it standing out enough? You see, what, what I've got the option of doing is, if I don't want to make this tree that I'm doing now stand out more by going darker, if I'm not ready for that, what I can do is make the tree that's immediately behind it a little bit softer just by dabbing not rubbing just dabbing it with its uh, with the putty eraser and that that should soften it enough to bring the other tree forward without me switching up a uh, a pencil grade that's worked it's not going well oh no heather why which bit or all of it? There's a lot of layers. Oh, can you see what's happened with the camera? I got a bit excited then, sorry. Um, you, the, you know the misty background that was quite dark? Once I've put this dark tree on, it's it's totally obliterated it. I'd need to um, balance the white out again. Look, If I put more white in the picture, the background returns. Obviously, you'll be able to see it when I take a photograph. Um, but it's just the contrast that's uh, the struggle. The struggle is real. The trees. <laughs> that doesn't help, Heather, because <laughs> there's a lot of the trees. Have they all not gone well? Oh no. But the, the advantage is because we're working in pencil, 
you can soften a lot of it if you need to with the putty rubber and that might might help but I will I will smudge a little bit I'm not going to smudge the immediate foreground um, just because it um, it adds to texture even though it's misty and I'll do I'll go a little bit darker on the right hand edge as well Yes, yeah, no, I haven't got any I haven't got any darky yet. I haven't taken the plunge. Oh, it's drawing class tomorrow as well, isn't it? It's gonna throw me now having a Tuesday night here. Again, after having I haven't had like eight weeks off. I've I have i have actually been working for, for most of those. Um I'm sure once you put the dark bits on Heather it will um, it will rectify itself maybe. Um I haven't smudged anything just yet. Yeah, it is lumpy because of all the ivy. have a look in a second then I'm smudging me ivy covered tree and a little bit of the foreground Oh yeah, Nick, I like it. You've got you've got you've got depth. Yeah. Now I've smudged a little bit, I can add a little bit more here and there. I can always see where I'm going wrong a little with them, or what needs to be added at least. So when you're shading stuff like this, it is always good to have a pencil on an edge rather than a large point. 
close that. Oh dear. You must you must be tasty. Has he? Deep chip here. No, it's about it's it's about my legs. Right, I need to. I'm just sneakily darkening the the lower trunk of tree on the other side and I wouldn't do that but it, it just hasn't stood out enough um, from that brackeny wood behind it so um, I think that looks all right so I'm gonna I'm still using the same pencil but I'm going to switch up to probably a 9b now um just because as a i'm, I'm not going to be able to fit all of that tree on uh, the very far far left hand side um so i might have to do a little bit on the lower part going off the page to the left and then another branch coming off the upper right um to make it work and then i'll, I'll do more in the foreground on both sides with the 8 or 9b or the darkest you can go if you haven't got an 8 or 9b um, use whichever the darkest is so don't forget that's the higher the number of b and then press down as hard as you can you might want um, a piece of paper or a board underneath it in case you go all the way through so i'm just trying to work out which one my 9b is All of my pencil numbers have worn off. Let me just... Yeah, it's very hard to see. Yeah, it is only only slightly though, because I, I seem to have worn that out as well. I do a lot of drawing. That's the one. So I'm going to have a bit of a trunk... Oh, I've just broken the lead that I've just sharpened. That was silly. Right down here, maybe a bit of a root. So next week, don't forget, with these drawn to acrylic classes, you don't have to come to every week. Um, you come to whatever you feel. I enjoy it each week because obviously we, we'll be using the same image, but doing an acrylic painting of it. Um, and I find it really makes you think differently, doesn't it? It um, to those that have come before, uh, you know, several times before, it it's amazing to see the difference the picture looks in um, paint form than it is in pencil form. Now this is going to be hard because. I'm not going to be seeing much of a difference between my real foreground tree. So I'll, I'll show you what might work. And I have to say might because it, 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 there's every chance that it won't.
really want that um, the branch that I've just drawn in I want that to stand out more so what I'm going to do and as I say this may not work is I'm going to use it my putty eraser and, and squeeze it flat to a little thin wedge and I'm just going to erase a sort of highlight line I suppose that you could class as reflective light now because I'm using a 9b it won't it won't rub out well but it should rub out enough to give me a slight lighter line um, you could try using a battery eraser but I, th I think yeah try that I, because we're using a 9b there's every chance that it, it's too soft doesn't matter at the moment it, it, whichever way um, will bring it forward or you might find lightening the tree behind will make a difference I need to darken the um, the other side of the front. darken and I'm doing it quite rough and jaggedy in the lower right foreground because it might be twigs or it might be leaves but you need something on there to bring the eye forward I mean we, you can have grass I mean this isn't snow or anything um, it's fine to have grass and pebbles or leaves um, whatever you feel you need to get get the sort of texture that you want so again if I want to bring this tree forward I can just lightly with the putty rubber dab from the tree behind a little to just give me enough lift I'm actually not as filthy as I thought I'd be. Yeah. I've kept my hand. Oh, I, I am. I am. But I'm not as dirty as I could be. It's always hard when you're dealing with a lot of the same things but just different tones and again I'll um, if I get a sheet of paper out to the side then you'll be able to see the whole image I think it's the blue that makes it even eerier isn't it as a photograph it looks it's like a little bit of a, a country lane 
in autumn in in pencil so next week oh you could put a bit of blue pastel on i suppose if you wanted to really make it um make it darker and eerier but i think i think as it stands i think that's all right um in terms of the path i'm, I'm tempted to darken the center a little bit more but i'm also a little bit apprehensive to do that because at the moment it is looking like a path the mid ground that looks very outlined and I don't I don't want it to look outlined oh gosh it's coming up to five to nine I think I'm not sure I'm going to do any more to that. We've got the layers, which is what we're after. Um, and the depth in there. We've looked at the different textures and the tree shapes. So next week we're going to, um, I will give you the colours. But it's almost certainly going to be cerulean blue, burnt sienna and Payne's grey. And probably... That's it. Maybe a bit of cadmium red, but I think that will make it too friendly. Um, but we'll see. So if we say cerulean blue, cadmium red, burnt sienna, Payne's grey or black, those four colours, that's all we're going to use next week um, in acrylics um, to recreate this scene again. And I know we've got a few people joining us next week just, just for the acrylics. I'll just let you know what we've got coming up in the classes this week. Um, tomorrow afternoon drawing class we've got uh, a poppy with a memorial theme um, it won't be the same as the watercolour class that we did this week um, Thursday morning is an autumn leaf in watercolour Thursday afternoon is um, frosty misty fields with amber skies Thursday evening is an autumn woodland scene in watercolour with wax crayon resist um, Friday morning is week two of three of myths and legends depicted in art history Friday afternoon is watercolour and it's a splash of water, like a droplet kind of thing. Saturday morning is the calligraphy class where it's brush, peta, dr brush pen lettered Christmas cards. Sunday morning is uh, poppies and stormy clouds in watercolour. Monday morning is um, a Victorian figure in the mist next to a lamp using pen and white pastel on grey card. Monday evening is the uh, Frosty Misty Fields and Amber Skies. Tuesday afternoon is the acrylic class and it's the um, full moon and howling wolf. And then next Tuesday evening, um, I've for next year, you may not have spotted it yet. Um, but what I've done is um, I've tweaked the Tuesday evening class. So the acrylic version 
isn't on the same day as the acrylic class in the afternoon. Um, so it, it means that people can do an acrylic every week on a Tuesday, either in the afternoon or the evening that way, um, to try and make it a bit easier, because otherwise it's like acrylics, acrylics, um, which might be a bit much. Um, so there we have it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Heather. Eventually, I'm sure it isn't rubbish. I'm sure you're not being kind to yourself there. Um, but I've really enjoyed it today. Um, good, I'm glad. Well, I don't care if you enjoyed it, Nick. <laughs> this is my show. It's all about me. It's all about me. That's all that matters. So thank you so much for your company this evening. And it is... Um... Oh, okay. Just use your finger killer. A finger would work or a um, a cotton bud. But I'll, I'll, I'll explain what one is. We do sell sets of them we, we can sort you out with. But what it is, is it's like tightly rolled paper sanded to two points. And it, and it just means you can press down really hard and get into fine edges and detail with it without using your fingers too much glad you enjoyed it christine um yes yeah, so that's a, a smudgy stick it's called a tortillon or a paper stump but i call it a smudgy stick and um but we can um good i'm glad so we can sort you out with some i think we do a set of them for 6.99 um or something um on on shop happy we've got loads in stock so thank you so much for your company. I look forward to seeing your pencil creations. Um, and I might see you online at some point during the rest of the week. If not, I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, and take care and have a really good week. And don't forget, be kind to yourselves. And make sure you give yourself some time out. Because that's just as important. Thank, thank you very much. So take care, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.